Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and all my sisters out there in the world. All glory given to your father, who is the creator of the heavens and the earth, for he is the only one in existence that is worthy. Family, he has given you the victory. Family, he has given you the power. Family, he has given you the strength. If you will only give in to him and be obedient to his ordinance, to his laws, to his commandments. Jesus didn't say it would be easy for his family. He said that we would have to fight. We would have to fight. God said that we would have to get our own selves in order. You know what I'm saying? He's, this is what he said. We have to fight this evilness that's inside of us to be obedient to what did he tell Cain? What did he tell him when he knew that he was going to kill his brother for the evil that was inside of his heart? What did he tell Cain? You have to overcome your sin by being obedient to God. And people let their feelings get caught up. That's why people give. That's why a lot of people give in to sin because they be getting caught up into their feelings. They do not think. They do not take out the time. Hmm. Let me think. Let me take four, five, thirty seconds and let me think about this. No, family. They give in to their emotions and their feelings, and then they make a horrible decisions based on all of their emotions. Family, it's a damn shame. Family, that's why your father he wants to overcome our own emotions. The day you overcome your emotions is when you will not give in to sin like that. Family. Your brother, I'm telling you the truth, family, straight up. What's good, family? I hope y'all had a peaceful Sabbath weekend. I hope you had time to relax and be with your father. Ho ho Do you need to see my face? Hold on, hold on, family. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it is Jehovah. What is good, family? What is going to be? I'm feasting blessings be upon you. What's good, family? It's Monday. Damn right. What is good, family? Boy, yeah, we... <laughs> Yeah, we got it. We got it. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. We got lessons. Hallelujah. <laughs> we got lessons today. We got instructions. It's Monday. Family, be feeling yourself. Have good. It's good. I woke up today. I'm thankful, family. Hallelujah. God is good, family. God woke me up this morning. God don't owe me a damn thing. I serve God. I love him. I praise him. I fear him. I do, I do all of this. He made me all these promises. But it doesn't matter. Why doesn't it matter, Jehoshaphat? Because God doesn't owe me a damn thing. He doesn't really owe us anything, family. And he showed me in this day that he loves me. So I got to be thankful for the great winds, family. I got to be grateful for the earth, family. I got to be grateful of all these different things and my element, the sky, the moon, the sun, the earth, everything that is around me. I am grateful for God has made all these things, family. He is the master builder, family. He is the master creator. And he has built all of these things for the wondrous, just for us to be amazed at, at his power. And as I look at my day, family, if all these things that's in my natural and the natural element element of the things, I'm grateful for he has showed me his, his existence through the elements of my creation, family. I am grateful, family. He don't owe me nothing. He didn't have to wake me up this morning. He didn't have to give me another. He didn't have to give me none of that, family. But your father, he loves you and he's showing you in this day how much he loves you by giving you another chance at life, family. By giving you, hold on, let me make this picture just a little bit little word, family. Hold on. I hate doing this right here. I can't make it little the way I wanted to. How did I do this last time? I made it heck a little word like that. Then it's switching over here. I didn't tell it to go switching into that. I don't know why I did that. But it was supposed to make it just... Oh, there we go right there. Just made it a little bit little word. Bam! Ha! <laughs> now, um... So it's Monday. I had a good weekend. I had my good... The only thing, family, I messed up. I. You, you got to understand this. Family, when you're doing good... The devil will even call you on, on the phone with some pain. Family, he will. If you're doing really good and you got your plan, you got to imagine. The devil, he used phone calls too. He'll call you on the phone. I, 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 Hask, Hask, I just called you, baby. I just want you to have some pain on your Sabbath weekend. I want you suffering. So the devil, he tried to call me with his pain, his agony, and his misery. And family... If you don't give into it, you won't feed into it. And I gave into it. I did. And I, I know that stuff happened to me with him yesterday. But I'm still, I, I, I'm feeling the sorrow for it today, family. So I, I, I showed God that my sorrowful heart on what I did. Was your brother? Was he out? Was he out cheating? Was he out stealing? Was he out doing? No, family. I didn't do any of those things. But the demeanor that I carried myself in, in my anger, I, I should not have to get angry on the Sabbath off of stupidity and people messing with me, family. I should not, family. Even if the devil see me on the high on my horse and he see me galloping through the whole world at peace and, and at peace, 
I should not have let him call me on the phone. Hello, hello, Jehosa. Hello, Jehosa. This the devil, baby. Oh, this is the this the devil, baby. I cannot let those things get me down, family, at all. So I kind of gave in, and I kind of felt, and and God, He know, He He tried to condone me, and He He told me you you wasn't sinning. You wasn't out here in this world being a foul man, but the things that was going on with me, I felt bad that I had to cut a person down to pieces. I did. I, I felt bad that I gave in to the anger and aggression that was pushed on me that I pushed it out. I got to be better than that, family. Just because just because God gave you the, a tongue and you could cut people to little pieces with your tongue does not give you the right. So, I, OK, I, I did that. But why am I the one who's hurting over it? You know what I'm saying? Why am I? And God, he know it. He told me. He was all like, well, you didn't do any evil. And everything you said was the truth. But it still broke me down that I had to I had to change who I am and give in to evil. That's when I got mad. That's when I gave in to evil, family. I'm trying to change myself up on, on, on my core to where I don't, I don't have to give in to no evil like this, family. So... I don't know, family. I, I, I'm trying. And even though that happened to me yesterday, I'm still paying for it today because I still got a sorrowful heart on the person that I cut down to pieces. Do they care? Maybe not. Did I say some things to them that I make them wake up? Yes, I did say some things that I make them. Will they ever come at me like that again? No, they will never come at me like that again. But the point still remains. I, I should have had did it in another way, family. I really should have had did it in another way. So that's that's one thing about my Sabbath that I regret, that I'm still paying for. Now, those are all just words. But you you must understand, I'm trying to get right for your father. And everything, if I'm, if I'm even the slight, slightest of being wrong, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even have the Holy Spirit kicking me down, telling me I'm wrong. I just feel wrong, family. What did I tell you last week about your brother and the laws that we have to make for our own selves? Those went in conflict with the laws that I have and my eternal of Jehoshaphat family. And they rubbed me the wrong way and they burnt me. Now, now it's it's 48 hours removed from that date and I still feel no differently. The bad that I felt then, I still feel the same bad now, family. I still feel because I should not reduce myself down to that level. When the evil come out to play and taunt you, family, don't give in. Family, your brother, I failed. Family, I failed. I'm just a man, family. I tell y'all. Y'all my brothers and sisters I love y'all I gotta be real with y'all To give you strength And I failed family And I failed But check this out Okay I felt that time family And I feel mighty bad about it Do you think I will fail again over it? No family You have to fail Before you can rise family Your brother I failed So next time it comes around again I'm going to rise family Sometimes you gotta fall Before you rise family You have to family And in this instant in time Your brother I failed now I'm back up and I'm lifting myself back up. So when this when this when this rears itself again and manifests itself to me once more again, I'll know how to how to conquer this problem because I already fell. Family, I already fall. It can't it can't, it can't be like I'm gonna fall like two three times over the same problem. Come on now, you gotta learn something, family. Ah, but peace and blessings be upon you all. Yeah, we got some. We got to sit down for today, family, and we're just going to go over the lessons that God brought it to me this weekend. So we're on a, will he fall behind? I don't know, family. I don't know, family. So let's go ahead and get into this peace and blessings be upon you all. I bless your homes. I bless your husbands, your wives, your sons, your daughters. I bless you at work. I bless you driving your car. I bless you at the grocery store. I bless you right now handling your business, doing whatever you're doing right now. Today is Monday, family. I probably released this tonight. It's Monday. It's around 1220 or so. Today, I, I believe it is the 21st. Let me check. I think it is the 21st today, family. So we got lessons. Okay, um, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Since I got Yeshua in the back. Ah, bless you and Yeshua, precious. Now I bless you going in, coming out. I bless your sons. I bless your daughters. I bless your homes. All in Yeshua Hamashiach name. I ask him to be with you, family, wherever you at, and the God of the heavens to be shining upon you, to be watching over you and guide you. Listen to him, family. Listen to him, family. What, what do we, what do we, how do we start our week? We starting our week strong. You already know. We going to be messing with some long suffering. Where you at, long suffering? Get around here. I don't know where to come out of here. Hey, come here. Come here. Get on around here, long suffering. I need you, girl. Who else we rolling with today? We rolling with long suffering. 
She can't never be. I can't, I come out here when I don't want to come out. You don't tell me nothing, Jehosa. I do it, girl. You come around here. Long suffering. Joyous of spirits. Family, I got my joyous of spirits up today, family. Hallelujah. He tap dancing. He over here gigging, family. Do you know what the cabbage patch is, family? Do you know what the, he's doing? The cabbage patch all by himself. He look good, family. He got his shades on. He's clean. He's in joyous of spirits. Family, how this world going to kick me down if, if I got Joyce of Spirits with me? I already got to pack up long suffering wherever I go. And she's sad and she's depressed and she all of that. She's suffering, family. She's suffering. But she's with me. Family, we good. You know what I'm saying? And I got my Joyce of Spirits with me. Guess what? We're practicing obedience. We're practicing being humble to people all day long, family. I've been humble to the goodest, to the baddest, family. I've been humble to the, the innocent. I've been humble to the cold-hearted, family. I've been humble to the good. I've been humble to the, the wicked, family. I've been humble to the meek. I've been humble to killers, family, all morning long, family. I'm trying to tell you, family, what else are we practicing? We're practicing being men and women of our word. You know what? It doesn't, it doesn't hurt to say no. It doesn't, family. Before you give it to a lie or giving it to something that you will regret, just say no, family. Just say no. Say it fast. I didn't even give you a chance to tell. No. Can you come up? up? No. Can you let me borrow 20? No. Just that simple, family. You don't have to give in to no lies. You know you don't want to do that. Swallow up your pride and tell them no, family. Tell them. Tell them no. Tell her no. Tell her no. Sometimes you got to tell him. Hell no. Don't feel. Don't. Don't feel sad about that family. You can't do it. You can't do it. What your brother tell you? If I ain't gonna be shedding those tears up over here because I couldn't help that person. Guess what? I couldn't help them. Guess what? Next time I try to. Guess what? I couldn't do it that time, family. So why is you tripping off of it? Be women and men of your word. Yes, no. Yes, no. That's it. No in between up over here, family. What else are we practicing this week? We're practicing being humble, family. Humble, family. Humble. It's hard to be humble, family. It's hard to be. Family, if I be humble this week, I don't have to worry about slapping the taste out of somebody's mouth, family. I don't have to worry about beating anybody up, family. As long as I'm being humble, family. Humble, family. Obedient, family. Men and women of our world. Slow to anger, family. Slow, discreet, family. Slow to anger, family. All week long, family, practicing love, show compassion, family. I'm trying to show compassion this week, family. I'm trying to show me a whole lot of love and trying to show me some compassion to these lost people trapped up in this damn world, family. Do you know by you showing them compassion, they probably don't get it from nowhere else. And then if they get it and spit it back on your face, guess what? You still did your damn job. Guess what? You still did your damn job, brother. You know what I'm saying? I know you didn't get it in return, brother. Sister, I know you didn't get it in return, but guess what? You did your part. That's the only thing God is asking of us. Okay, now, so amongst all things, family, we practice. We practice a whole lot of stuff in a week's time. Family, every single day, family, we're practicing these things. How to be humble. How to be meek. How, how not to give in. To, and the biggest thing we're going to be practicing this, this week is repent. Jehosa, I'll be repenting. Are you sure about that? You know what I'm saying? I'm repenting by me not going up over there. If I don't go up over there, I ain't got to worry about giving in to that sin. If I don't bring that stuff around me, I ain't got to worry about giving in to sin. And when I, and when I do do it, I'm going to have an earnest of my heart. Father, you know, I messed up. This is what I'll be talking to God. You know, I don't want to be doing that no more, Father. I know I know I messed up and I'm going to be doing my best not to do those things again because I shame my own self. Just like your brother when I was telling you how I gave in to the anger. I'm ashamed of myself, family. I'm ashamed. My heart is sorrowful for me cutting that person down to pieces, family. Let's rewind it. Let's rewind it. My heart is sorrow. Family, I feel pain inside of my heart for me cutting that person down to pieces. Did they deserve it? Hell yeah, they deserve it. Yes, they deserved it. But I did not have to reduce myself down to the anger. Family, when I get angry, I get damn near evil. Family, I'm not going to lie to you. When I get angry, I get mad. Family, don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't sit there and play no games with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a man too, trying to get right for his father. So, God knows because I talked to him for over 48 hours about it because that's how much it affected me, family. I know I gave it to him like, Father, here you go. I'm having a, my heart is hurting over this. You know what I'm saying? My heart is toe up over this. So I gave it to the father and he he alleviated it. But it's still the point to where I don't want to forget. Oh, you beating yourself up. You beating yourself. But check this out, family. As long as I don't forget what I've done, I don't have to repeat it again. I don't. Family, them people did you hella wrong. They did you hella wrong. I don't ever want you to forget what, what they did. I want you to forgive them. 
But I don't want you to forget what they what they did. Same scenario right here, family. That stuff that they was doing to me was hella wrong. I don't ever want to forget that. Will they come at me like that again? I don't think so. I don't even think so. Okay, let's go ahead and get into lessons for today, family, before we run out of time. Because I don't know, family. I don't know. Will I be back tonight with another, uh, with some more lessons and you sit down with your brother in the sanctuary? I don't know, family. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try to express, uh, even if we don't get through this, family, I'm telling you, I'm going to try to spread through this. Through. But then again, you know, I just asked your father and he just going to give me some more lessons, family. He is. I had a Jehovah witness knock on my door to do Jehovah's witness knock on my door. And he told me, he said, why do you? I, t I try to explain to him why you're you're a con you're a convert, dude. You know what I'm saying? You're 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 coming into this as a belief. This is my culture. This is my heritage. This is my history. You know what I'm saying? This this dude going to call me. a He called me a, a Hebrew Christian. That's what he called. I don't know if he called me a Christian Hebrew or a Hebrew Christian. I can't remember because it was like a month ago. But I explained. He said, I just, it's a white guy too. I just don't understand. Why do you black people feel that you're Hebrews? I don't understand. You're a Christian Hebrew. I tried to explain to that man, but like, like I tell a lot of uh, the Christian people or whoever, 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 it doesn't really matter. If you believe in the almighty God, I will support you. I don't care what domination you is. If you follow in his laws, his statutes, his commandments, that's the only thing that matters. I don't care what you call yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can call yourself whatever you want to. Are you following the law? Are you following the commandments, the statutes, the limitations? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's throw that away. Are you following every good thing that God put inside of your heart? Are you fighting against the Holy Spirit that dwells within thine? Are you doing that? You know what I'm saying? Are you going against, are you going against God? If you're going against God, I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't care what you call yourself. You know what I'm saying? Do you serve the most high God? For there is only one God with his rules, family. So if you believe in God, once more again, I will support you, family. I will, family, for there is only one God. There's only one Savior. For there is only one Holy Spirit. Only, only one, family. So I told the dude... Y'all know I'm a black Hebrew. Y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? Like there's white Hebrews. But um, there's some white people trying to be Hebrew, trying to be grafted in. Why you just can't be happy with your Christianity? Okay, I better leave that alone. Y'all want to be with us. So my bad. My bad. Got love for y'all too. My bad. I just don't like faking people, family. Y'all got to remember that about your brother Jehoshaphat. I do not like faking people who say they love God and they don't. I don't care what kind of form you might take yourself. I do not like you. No shape, form, or fashion. But back, back to what I was saying, though, family. I su I support you. I support you. I, I support you. Whatever it is, as long as you being good, you being doing what God is asking you to do, I will support, family. I have no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? None at all. It's just the fact when I be going to some of these different uh people churches and. They put on the outward persona of, oh, we do this, we do that, we do this, we worship this way. And then you get up around all them evil people. And then you don't even want to come back, family. You don't even want to come back. They put on the outward appearance. Oh, we so good. Oh, we love the Lord. Oh, we so good. You get in a church, family. You see all that evilness they be doing. You see that evilness. You be like, dang, it's more evil spirits up in here than at the Satan people house. I'm just saying, family. I'm just saying, family. As soon as you go up in that church, you should know what power is up in there. It's either going to be denominated by good or evil, family. And if it's denominated by evil, it's in the people, too. It's just not in the atmosphere. You just, oh, 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 darn. I know I feel all these evil, unclean spirits around me like that. But dang, I see it in the people, too. So they put on the hourly appearance. Oh, come to our church. Oh, love us. Oh, support us. And then you get up over there and they'd be the most wickedest people you ever, ever deal with. So that, that, that takes me back to what I said, family. If you love the Lord and you serve him, I have no problem with supporting you. I don't care who you is, what color you is, where you come from. I don't care. God is not a respecter of no men. You know what I'm saying? Or woman or child or old people. None of that. You know what I'm saying? He picks whoever he want to pick. So, but if I find out that you faking, I want nothing to do with you. That goes for that goes for the Muslim world, that goes for the Hebrew world, that goes for the Christian world, that goes for the Catholic world, that goes for anybody who lives down here on this earth faking on God. I ain't got nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? You should know. You you, you being around, check this out. People like me, we know you fake. We know you fake. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm telling you right now, you get around me and it's a, a, a number amount of time. I'm testing you the whole time you around me. I'm just testing every single thing that comes out of your mouth. You don't know it, but the spirit inside of me is testing you to see what the hell you are. You know what I'm saying? To see what you really stand for. So you can't people like me. You can't hide yourself from who, who you are. You're going to eventually reveal yourself to me. And when you reveal yourself with me, I want nothing to do with you. Not a one iota of time, family. Not a one iota of time, family. Okay, now let's get up in this. Okay, okay, family. I love y'all. Peace and blessings be to y'all. Oh, give me some up here. Give me some at the top, sister. Brother, brother. Give me some at the top. Ah, oh, thank you. Hallelujah. Bless you, brother. Ah, oh, thank you, brother. Thank you, sister. I bless you and Yeshua Hamashiach. Now, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, we got the man of the hour. Let's go ahead and talk about the Lord real quick. Let's talk about the Lord real quick. Let's talk about Yahshua. Ain't this a bad picture right here, family? I seen this picture right here, and the Lord said, that's me right there. I want you to show that. This is what he said, family. He was like, man, that's the perfect, this, that's me. That's how I was looking. That's what I was doing. That's how I was looking out there. You know what I'm saying? I said, Jesus, is this the picture you want from me? He said, go back to that other one. I want that one. You know what I'm saying? That's what he said. You know what I'm saying? I, now, I'm just saying, family. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you just playing. Oh, you just don't do this. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever. What I tell you, you can either trust me or don't trust me. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> you don't have to believe me. Okay, check this out. Since we uh we got the Lord up here, the Savior. Oh, Father, thank you for Yeshua. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you for Yahshua. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Now... Let's go into some teachings from the Lord real quick. Jesus said he does not want you to sometimes to pick up the cross, but to pick it up daily. So, family, how many people, how how, how do you know your, your people, family, just with the people that you know that's in your life? You be seeing them, family. They pick up that cross maybe Monday they pick it up. Maybe Wednesday they pick it up and you know they got to be on their pagan Sunday. So they're going to pick it up on Sunday. So they picked up that cross three days a week. Family, this is an all day event. This is an everyday event. This is a 365 things around the year I have to do. I have to show this world that I believe in Yeshua. I have to, family. So I, I just don't pick up my cross when I feel good. When I feel good. Hallelujah. Ooh, I, oh, Yeshua, I give you all your cross. I pick it up. I pick it up, Lord. I pick it up today. Oh, yeah. I pick your cross up on Monday. I don't know about Tuesday, Wednesday. I can't do that, Lord. I'll be back with you on Thursday. <laughs> Friday come, Lord. Uh-uh. I'm too much of a heathen, baby. I'm too much of a heathen. I'm a pagan on Sunday, so I guess I pick my cross up. Family, family. Yeshua wants you to pick up your cross daily. That's what he said. He said daily. He didn't say Monday through Friday. He didn't say Tuesday through Wednesday. He didn't say that, family. He said every single day. So look at these people who be faking on God. This is how you know they be faking up on God. They not trying to give they all every single day of their life. Yeshua wants you to pick up that cross every single day of your life, every day. That's why he said, pick up your cross daily. That's the actual words that came from him, not from me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not quoting them. Am I quoting them? Yeah, I'm quoting them. Yeah. I can't even say I'm really paraphrasing his words. Or That's the actual quote that he said, family. He said that, family. He said, pick up your cross daily. Okay, now I said that, right? But does that sound like he wants you to be half-assing it? Does that sound like he's giving you time to, to be playing games with him? Does that sound like it's a game? To some people, it is, family. But to love your Yahshua, you have to do everything that the law says every single day, family. You have to be righteous. You already got the law inside of you. So you fighting the law is you being bad. You giving in to sin, family. You, you, you. Giving in to sin, family. Going against the law that God put inside of you so you can't run and be like, oh, let me go to the Bible. Oh, chapter verse 13. Oh, uh, Corinthians. Oh, oh, it says I can't do this. No, family. You know what's inside of you, what's good and what's evil. Let, uh, let's play no games, right? Let's play no games. Let's, let's play no games, family. It's little kids that's burning in hell right now. Right now as we speak, they knew the difference between good and evil, family. They still chose to be evil, family. Let's play no games up over here. Everybody knows the difference between good and evil. And if you do evil, 
you giving in to evil family. You can't you cannot sit here and say that you did not know that you're doing evil when God put his righteousness in everybody, good or evil. It doesn't matter just so they could go against the Holy Spirit. So. God don't want you fake. Jesus don't want you faking on him. And he wants you to be him every single day. Not sometimes. Not when you just feel like it. Not when everything is going good and everybody want to clap and dance. Some of us is so bad, family. We be we be we be hoping people be talking good about us. And then when the people talking good about them, then that's when they gonna want to go outside hooping and hollering and praying. Oh Lord, I love you, oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, I love you all. Oh, I gotta have you, Yahshua. I'll be up there. Soon as they get a little praise, family, soon as they get a little praise, guess what? God praised me this morning by waking me up, so I'm praising the Lord. Hallelujah. God woke me up this morning time, so I'm praising the most high God, for he is worthy and he is he alone. Hallelujah. Okay, Jesus said he does not want you to sometimes to pick up the cross, but to pick it up daily. People be faking, family. If they not picking that cross up Monday through Sunday, family, they must not be a faithful servant of the Most High God, family. They must not be, family. They must not be, family. Okay, now, Jesus wants to, I'm sorry. Jesus wants to use us where, where you are at. You can be one of his disciples by showing this world how much God has been good to you and your and, and how good he has been to you. Now, let me stop real quick right here. Now, Jesus wants you to be a disciple right where you at, family. He does, family. He does. He does. OK, we already talked about you picking up your cross that's part of it, family. That is part of being a disciple. But Jesus wants you to be a disciple right where you are at in your life. I don't know where you, you work at Payless. He wants you to be a disciple at Payless, girl. Brother, brother, you flipping French fries all in the back of Mickey D's. Brother, brother, you flipping fries at Mickey D's. It smells good up in there. Put a little more salt on there. He wants you to be a disciple right at Mickey D's. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just keeping it real with you. You know what I'm saying? You work in the men's bathroom. All you do is say, hello, how are you doing today? Would you like to have a breath mint or you want extra pieces of paper? Guess what, brother? Old brother, because only old dudes be having them jobs. Guess what, old brother? He wants you to be a disciple of Christ, right? Of Yahshua, right in that bathroom. Hallelujah. Sister, 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 you work at the hair and nail shop. You doing hair? I got I to gotta cover up my nose when I go up in there. Y'all sisters be having all them chemicals going on. Got that buffer on the, on the female's legs. Check this out, sister. He wants you to be a disciple right up in the wig and nail shop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right, sister, are you listening to me? Right there in the wig and nail shop around all them old ladies getting their This is how you start up, up over there. How you doing, Mrs. Smith? Ah, oh, baby, I'm doing good. You, you know, Miss Smith, you know the Lord is good. I know the Lord is good, baby. He's been with me for 87 years. He's been my Lord and my Savior. Yeah, I, I know, Mrs. Smith, he's been good. To, I know I'm young. I know I'm a young whippersnapper, but I have the Lord in my life. That's good, baby. You can keep on having the Lord in your life. He will protect. See what I mean, sister? See what I mean, sister? All up in a wig and nail shop, he wants you to be praising God and being a disciple. Right where it is where you're at, family. Right where it is where you are at. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me give you an example. Not everybody can be Jesus' disciple like that. Now, remember when Jesus went to that one place in Capernaum. I think it was it Capernaum. I think it was Capernaum. But he went somewhere, family. And it was a man vexed with a spirit. He had the he had the demons on him, family. He had them demons all up in him, family. They called they some legions. They call us legions. They call us legions. So he had he had the legions up in him, a thousand different demons. They was all, they was all as soon as the demons seen, Lord, oh Lord, please, no, please, Jesus, please. Don't don't cast me out what you doing over here, Jesus. Oh, we know who you is. You the son of God. You the son of God. Please don't come over here. You won't cast us out. But he cast out these demons out that man. That man was known for they be tying that man up. They be putting all kind of Metal bars, he be breaking them. He be when the demon get up in him, he be like the Hulk family. You get him just a little bit mad, he be beating up people and tearing them up, family. 
You get them demons up in there, but tear people up, family. But that man was known to live in the graves and the tombs and the cemetery. That's where he be hanging out. He be chilling with death, family, laughing and giggling all by his crazy self, butt naked, family. Butt naked in the wilderness of the death and destruction, laughing, family. Demons all up in him, family. Demons all up in him. But the demons up in that man. Oh, Lord, please. Oh, Lord, please. Oh, no, 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 cast us out in the peace. Cast us out. So Jesus cast out the, the, the demons, legion. He gave them. We're many. We're many demons. We're not just one demon. We're many. So he cast the demons out. And to the swine and the swine went over the went over the edge and drowned themselves to death. The people heard about what went on and they kicked Jesus up out of town. But before they before they kicked Jesus up out of town, because Jesus was always getting kicked out of places. Oh, get up out of here, Lord. Get up out of here, son of God. You got all them powers. You're so marvelous. You got so much mercy. You got so much. Oh, you got to get up out of here. But family. They knew that man had the demons up in him and he'd be beating up people, biting people, scratching. He was wild, family. Now, when that man came to his senses, when Jesus rebuked all them demons in him, the man asked Jesus, Jesus, let me be your disciple. Jesus didn't want to use that man as a disciple. He wanted to use him right where he was to magnify and edify the, the blessings that Jesus did for him amongst the different people through the city. So Jesus wants to use you. Where you are at, where you are. Not everybody can just pack up their bags and go following to be an apostle. It doesn't work like that. But you can be a you can be a disciple of the Lord by following all God's laws, statutes, commandments, and living a righteous life. Right wherever you are, brother. You work at the movie theater. Jesus wants you to be the disciple of the Lord. All up in the movie theater. All up in there, brother. You work at the arcade. He wants you to be a disciple at the arcade. Brother, you deliver the trash. Ain't no shame. Now you make like two times more than I make. Family, family, brother. He wants you serving and praising the most high God, a disciple of God, of Jesus, while you're doing your job. Just like that, wherever you are in your life. Okay, let's move on. Doesn't really matter where you are in your, at your life. Right where you are in your life, the Lord would like to use you to be an, an, a, an, a disciple of him. Right where you at. Look at your brother. I'm right here, family. I'm right here being used as a disciple. Right here. Right now. Right here. Okay, let's keep on going. Okay, Jesus wants to use you where you are. Where, where, I'm sorry. <laughs> use you where you are at can be, you could be his disciple by showing this world how much God has been good to you and your how good he has been to you and and lead and led you through the light of faith by your own actions on staying true to God in your life. The world needs to see it needs to see it. The world needs to see you loving your God, praising your God, worshiping your God, telling the, the people that you come in. It might be two or three people a day. It's not going to be a thousand different people. Family, it doesn't have to work like that. But there's five or ten people that you interacted with and you told them, hey, I'm a servant of the most high God. I'm a disciple of the Lord Yeshua, you know said of Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? They need to see that. They need to see that family. They need to see your goodness family right where you are at. You know what I'm saying? So when people tell me you need to pack your bags and go over here and go over there and go do this, go no, 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 no. You have to be a disciple where you are at of Yeshua. Jesus can't put more on you than what you, he can't expect you to go move that whole damn mountain and you ain't got no arms, family. That doesn't make any sense, family. He wants to use you right where you are at. If it was not so, he would have took that man that he cleaned up all them demons and took him right with the apostles. He doesn't pick everybody like that, but everybody can be a disciple. Hallelujah. Let me check my time again. Oh, family, it's looking ugly. Ooh. It look ugly, family. I, I think I, I think he gonna be about that. What is he bet Jehosa bagging off the train again? Hold on, look at my face. Look at my face. Look at my face. Oh, Jehosa bagging up the train again, baby. Is he getting backed up? Jehoshaphat is getting bagged up again, family. He's getting bagged up again. I can't believe this, family. It's, it's barely Monday, and I'm looking at the clock. It said we've been talking for 33 minutes, family, 33 minutes. I'm getting bagged up, Jehoshaphat, bagging up the train again, family. Hallelujah. That's why I don't understand. 
I told you, all week long, we're going to feed you with all this strength, family. By the time the weekend come, you should be able to be on chill status, family, because I didn't fed the sheep. I didn't gave you more than what you need, family, every single day, every single week. It just does not stop, family. That's why I don't understand. You go to church and the pastor sitting up there talking about everybody, everybody in the church. Hold up. We need some lessons about God, not about Sister Smith over here and, and, and that thing she got on her head. You know what I'm saying? We don't need no lessons about Brother Johnson and how he was cheating on his wife. That ain't our damn business. Tell us about the Lord. But some of the some of the pastors up at church, they more worried about putting the flock down than actually lifting the flock up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I hate it, too. That's why I stopped going to certain... As soon as I stepped up in there, family, they started talking about me like a damn dog. Oh, don't let me pull a pastor aside. Oh, pastor, uh. Oh, pastor, I got to tell you this. I'm having a problem with it. When you talk to the pastor, it make you want to keep it to your damn self. It makes you want to keep it to your damn self. That's what I say. Don't even be tripping off of them like that. You need to be looking... I, I, I don't look at people like that, family. I don't. I look up to Yahshua. I look up to Yahshua. And if you got some secrets you want to tell somebody, go tell that to your God. Go tell. I, started, I don't understand the Catholic people. I have no idea what the hell is wrong with them. That is just a man right there. Okay, now, you you need to go tell that to God. You know what I'm saying? He's the only one who's going to help you with that. That man can't do nothing for you. Uh, take a Hail Mary and light a candle and say a prayer to put some holy water on your toe. Man, no, 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 no. You need to go. And talk to your father about all of that. We don't keep no secrets from the most high God. Hallelujah. It sounds, it sounds so damn good. I got to say it again, family. We don't keep no secrets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah in Yahshua, precious name. We don't keep no secrets between us and the most high God. Not now, not never, not then, not no time in the presence, family. We don't keep no secrets from God. He knows all, he sees all, and if you try to keep a secret, you will be dumber than it would take you to spell it on a piece of paper. Hallelujah. You wrong for that, Jehovah. You wrong. You shouldn't be trying to lie to God. There's so many people that be lying to God right up in his face. I'm just saying, they waited in a line for three whole days to talk to God, and when they got up there... All they had was lying, lies coming out of their face. Family, the hole that you speak through it, that is your mouth. Only lies came out of that to the most high God. We do not keep no secrets between Jesus and God. None. I'm not even lying to the Holy Spirit. That'd be redundant. None. None. Okay. Let's keep let's keep it going. Make sure I don't tap out around here. Okay, now, Jesus wants you to, to use you where, okay, yeah, we said that, um, excuse me, showing the world how much God has been good to you and, and your, and, and good he has been to you and your, and led you through the light of faith by your own actions on staying true to God in your life. The world needs to see. So I'm telling you, you being this, the disciple right where you are, Yahshua wants to see you that. You know what I'm saying? You need to be a disciple right where you are. Hallelujah. Now, um, Jesus wants you to keep all your good works hid, not to bring in the eyes of men, but to do good works for your father can see in secret and reward in the eyes for all men to see. So all that good that you be doing, family, he, he kind of want to see like when I be doing good and stuff, I'm not I'm not I'm not expecting the whole parade to come out and start tooting on the horn and everybody say, oh, Jehosa, good job. Good, good job. Jehosa. Oh, you did so good. Good job. Jehosa. No, I'm not looking for that family. So Jesus, he wants us to do it discreetly family. Like, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Your brother, I still tell you fast in a hurry. Go run to do that good. That's another thing, family. Let me let me cut it off. Let me cut it off. Because last week. We was talking about the manifestation of evil. And when people see evil, 
They give in to it and they do it. The demonst that's what it was. The demonstration of evil makes other people give in to the evil. Now, I told you that it works the same way both ways, family. It does, family. It works. Now, I showed you the demonstration of evil, how all them other people gave in to that evil, right? And they started acting like the first evil person, but it's the same far as good. When I came out the $5 general, I ran over to the, the, uh, the homeless dude. The homeless old dude with the Vietnam sign on his on his chest that said we'll work for food. And I only had like 75 cents and I gave him the 75 cent and I told him, sir, you have a good day. God bless you. Something something in that regard. Now, when I gave him that man, that changed everybody in that parking lot, start giving that man money demonstration of good family just like you have a demonstration of, of evil you have a demonstration of good by you putting good in the at that it won't even dissipate out the atmosphere until other good things happen so by you doing a good act you put forth a spirit of goodness and right where right where you at family you just made some good you just made a good spirit come out of you and just possess that whole little area right there family do you understand? So that spirit of goodness that came out of you from you doing a kind act is going to affect all the other people who have good inside of them. So even if they was holding back doing good, they can't hold back anymore because that spirit was released out of you. You know what I'm saying? It was released. The demonstration of good. I, I looked from the mirror. when I, By the time I was tripping, family, I was looking. I was in the car looking in the mirror and watching every single body in that parking lot bring money to that man. The demonstration of good. It works both ways, family. Both ways it worked. I seen it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, man, that God be showing me quick than a mug. The demonstration of good. Okay, now let's go back. Jesus wants you to keep all your works. So all your works. Now I'm doing all these good deeds. I'm not asking for nothing in return, family. I'm not. Nothing in recompense. Nothing. I'm not asking for nothing in return and I'm hurrying to do these things, but I'm doing them discreetly because I don't, I don't need your, I don't need, oh, thank you, uh, thank you, uh, thank you, brother, uh, thank you, young man, you trying to come over here, help me, put some money in my pocket, ah, uh, thank you, uh, thank you. No, I don't, I don't even need that, family. All I have to do is just do it discreetly to where you can't even see me because next time my father see it, he's going to do it up in the open for everybody to see. So all your good, you don't need no acknowledging. Do that good for your father will reward you in the open, family. Hallelujah, family. Hallelujah, family. So that's why Jesus wants you to do it in secret so your father can reward you for everybody to see it, family. So in other words, if you sit there and you take the glory, you don't get the glory to God, he won't give it to you, family. He won't. You know what I'm saying? If you sit there and you take the acknowledgement, oh, I did that, that's you taking the damn glory. Give the glory to God for he will reward you later, family. Straight up. Okay, now Jesus gives us power over three. Okay, did I skip one? No, I didn't, family. We, we about to wrap it up, family. I got to go ahead and get up off of here, family. Yeah, I got to get up off of here. So I'm going to go over this last one, and then I got to get off of here, family. Peace and blessings be upon you all. I'm sorry I really didn't get it. I only got one page, family. One. This is work. Okay, let's go over this, family. I'm sorry. I tried, family. I tried. I love y'all. I tried. Black power, black strength, black love. Turn to your master. Turn to your father, for he will make you whole. For he will give you strength. For he will... Like right now, you're lost, family. I hate to say it. Right now, you lost. So when you go to God, you will find yourself. You will. Right now, we all lost unless we go to him, family. Okay, now let's get back. Now, Jesus gave us power over three types of evil people that dwell in the world, feeding on the weak and the old. So Jesus, he gave us power over the evil. It's only three types of evil, family, if you look at it. And these people, it's only three types of them, family. And Jesus, he gave us power over all of them. Listen to what the Lord said. Jesus gave us power over. That's why it's so important to be a disciple so you could get a disciple or a believer or a follower so you could get the power. If you're not a follower, if you're not a believer, if you're not a disciple, you have no power. So you, these three people are just going to eat you up. Eat you up, tear you up, and spit you out, and all they're going to leave is bones, family. Straight boa constrictor of you. The snake swallowed you down and spit out the bones, family. The owl came, swooped up, and regurgitated the bones out, family. Straight up. Okay, now let's get back into this. Jesus gives us power over three types of evil people that dwell in, in the world, feeding on the weak and old. Jesus said that there are people who are scorpions who will strike you with the, the, the deadly venom. So the first type of people, they're, they're scorpions, family. 
They, they always striking with all their evil, family. They are. You know what I'm saying? You always see them striking somebody. They always bring in pain and suffering to somebody, family. But God has already gave us the victory over the scorpion people. The scorpion people out here in the world, family. There's three types of evil. The scorpions are one of them, family. Okay, now. The serpent who will bite you and kill and kill you with their deadly poison in their in, in their veins, spreading into your blood system. So then you got the serpent. Then you got the people who are like serpents, family. They're out here too, family. You got the you got the scorpions and you got the serpents, family. You got them, family. They want to strike you, family. They want to pump your blood, your body full of all of that deadly venom that'll stop your heart, family. But it's like like what I said. You got the victory if you a believer, if you a follower, or you a disciple. You have power over them, family. If you're not a believer, if you're not a disciple, if you're not a follower, you have no power. You have none because you do not trust you and you do not believe in God. Okay, now. Serpents who will bite you and kill you with their deadly poison in their veins spreading into your blood system. Jesus said that there are wolves dressed in sheep clothing. So you have to watch the the ones we think we know for some some of them are wolves and will prey on the weak press. I'm sorry. They dress as the weak. Jesus said to make it above all of this evil hiding in plain sight. We must be gentle as a dove and wiser than a serpent. So we must think fast on our feet and slow to anger it is the only thing that will protect us from the evil in these three different types of evil in the world. So what did, what did Jesus say? He said, it's only two things that we could do to get away from the scorpion people, to get from the serpent people and the people who are dressed up and, and dressed, they wolves, but they dressed up in sheep clothing. What did Jesus say about them? He said, he said, you got to really watch these people because they present themselves as weak. You know what I'm saying? They present themselves as somebody who weak and they are not weak, family. They are a ravenous wolf on the inside, family. So they're trying to prey on you, family. But that's OK, because your Yeshua, he gave us the victory. He gave us a way out. So what did he say? These three groups of evil men and women that's on the face of this earth. Jesus said that we have to be gentle as a dove and wiser than a serpent. That's what he said. That's the only thing, the only thing that's going to get us out of our encounterments with the scorpion people. Why is that? What, what is it? What is it? What is it? As gentle as a dove and as wise as a serpent. When we get with, with the snake people, family, the only thing that's going to get us out of it is being gentle as a dove and, and wiser. Than, we got to be wiser than a serpent. What does that mean, Jehoshaphat? We must think fast on our feet. We got to think real quick when we're dealing with these people. Then we got to then we must think fast and then we got to be slow to anger. That's what gentle as a dove and wiser than a snake means, family. That's what it means. This is the key of victory, of salvation that he has given us over the people who dress up. And sheep clothes that are really wolves for the the, uh, the serpents that slide on their belly that want to strike us family and fill us with so much poison that will take us out of our lives. So I want you to think about what the Lord said, family, to protect yourself. He wants you to be gentle as a dove and wiser than a serpent. And what is the breakdown of that? You got to be fast on your feet and you got to be slow to anger, family. That's all he's saying to deal with these evil people that's in this world. Now, your brother, I got to go ahead and get up off of here. But peace and blessings be upon you all. I don't know if we're going to come back to a, another show tonight. I don't know, family. But check this out. Do one up for your brother. Come make sure you come get some of this 9 o'clock prayer hour. Why, Jehoshaphat, why come get some of the 9 o'clock prayer hour? Because you will be in the symbol with your brothers and sisters who love the Most High God the way that you do, representing y'all, saying prayers on their behalf on y'all, but the most important to magnify, glorify, and to edify our Father, all on one accord, family. So come get yourself some of this 9 o'clock prayer hour. You will be blessed. Your homes, your house, your family will be blessed. And you will build this intimate relationship that you need so much with your father. So come get yourself some of this 9 o'clock prayer hour to be assembled with your brothers and sisters out there in the world. This has been your brother Jehoshaphat. Thank you for spending time with me in the sanctuary. Please love your people. Love your God. Love your Yeshua. And love your people. This has been your brother Jehoshaphat. Peace and blessings be upon you all for our Lord. He lives.